Hello guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be doing enchantments, so let's get started. Just to clarify, I'm not going to be doing any specific enchantments today. I'm just going to be showing you the setup that you'll use for all creating all of enchantments. But you're going to have to actually create the code yourself to make your enchantment do something. So firstly, create an init enchantment in it and then we're going to do similar to items and blocks we're going to create an enchantments list public static final list triangle brackets enchantment called enchantments equals a new array list triangle brackets enchantment brackets again and close control shift o to import java.util.list then we're going to declare an enchantment public static final enchantment called uh, the name of your enchantment equals a new enchantment and then follow by the name of your enchantment. We are then going to create this class and put it in dot enchantment. Let's extend its enchantment itself. And then we need a constructor. No parameters in the constructor, but we are going to super. There's a few parameters for the super. Rarity. Then put dot and choose between common, rare, uncommon, or very rare. The enum enchantment type. Put dot and then there's all. There's different pieces of armor and there's different tools as well. And then entity equipment slot, so new entity equipment slot array. Then open curly brackets and just put all the entity equipment slots. So say you've got all the armor pieces, you would add have four in this list for each of the armor pieces and put a semicolon on the end. We're then going to set the enchantment name with this dot set name. Just set it to a string and then set the registry name to this dot set registry name a new resource location with your mod id plus then the string colon and then the same name you put for this dot set name and then you're going to want to add it to the list of enchantments so enchantment in it dot enchantments dot add this then there's going to be a few functions get min enchantability i'm going to return 20 times enchantment level but you can modify this value to make it as enchantable as you would like it to be get max enchantability the common thing to do here is to return the minimum enchantability plus 10 so you have a range of 10 enchantability levels and then get max level the number of levels an enchantment can have, so efficiency 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and you can make your enchantment correspond to these values. So return 5, I'm going to put, there's 5 different levels. And the final function you might want to use is can apply together. This is if two enchantments can be applied together, such as Frostwalker and Depth Strider can't be applied together. So return super dot can apply together and enchantment is not equal to and then any enchantment that you don't want your thing to be applied with and save that enchantment then back in enchantment in it this is where you're going to create the function that will declare what your enchantment does so public static void and then the name of the function that is actually going to do and the basis all the things will have a living update event base event each of them will also be an at subscribe event and this class will be a at mod dot dot event bus subscriber mod id is equal to reference mod id so now everything in this function will run so entity living base living equals event dot get nc living so this is the player that's just clicked it so obviously you then you want the level of the enchantment int level is enchantment helper dot get max enchantment level for the actual thing so your enchantment and the player living that'll give you the current level and then the block pause pause is equal to living dot get position 
control shift to import block pause. And then one more function you'll want is world world is equal to event dot get entity or dot world. And now when you write your code, you can use that level variable. You can multiply or add using it to make it proportionate, make the actual thing that happens proportionate to what is happening. So now you've cre actually created your enchantment and you can obviously go through and create your own code. We're going to go into util handlers, registry handler, and we're going to create a new one of these called on enchant register and change this in here to enchantment it dot enchantments dot to array new enchantment zero. The final thing you're going to do is go into your source main resources lang and then and then you're going to want to at the bottom put enchantment dot your enchantment or the name equals your enchantment. Once everything's finished, you can run the game and you should be able to find your enchantment in, in the books. And here you can see, I have this enchanted book here called Your Enchantment 5. Obviously Minecraft only shows the highest level one. If we put it on these boots, and we will now have that enchantment on our boots. Obviously the code won't, I don't have any code in there, but I have created a couple of enchantments myself which I'll demonstrate to you now. I'm not going to show you the code for. Now when I apply this enchantment, I'm going to go to the nether. Here as you can see when I run along, I've changed the Frostwalker enchantment to um, change it to Magma instead. So if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry and goodbye.